How common would you say breast implant illness is? So about 2.2 million implants are placed annually. And over, it takes probably in my experience, we'll just use 10 years as a, a benchmark. And in my study, we just published a 29% rate, so we'll just call it 30. That leaves about 6.6 .6 million people who you would think would have that problem. Hmm. So, and the problem, like I said, it's one of chronic inflammation. So you look at someone's genetics, you and I each have an ability to detox a certain amount of toxins. Once that's exceeded, we'll become symptomatic with inflammatory type symptoms. If we continue to be exposed to the same things through what we drink, what we eat, the air we breathe, uh, lifestyle we live, or exercise we don't or do do, and gut health and food sensitivities, other triggers. Um, metabolomics looks at you know how we uh, break down, and we'll talk more about acid breakdown in, in, in a little bit, and then hormone balance. So all those things collectively you'll see um, off in these patients. Their blood laboratories will typically be pretty normal. Hmm.